What's going on, guys? Back with another update. Um, I got Ridley today. He's a uh, he's one of our leopard geckos. He wanted to hang out for a little while. Actually, I think I just woke him up. He was real still just a minute ago, and now he's just all over the place. Um, again, these. These leopard geckos are pretty awesome animals. I don't know if you can see them real good, but there he is. That's Ridley. He's cool. All he does is walk around and lick your hand. Um, but yeah, he's really cool. He's really laid back now. He used to be a little hyper. He still likes to climb around a little bit, but for the most part, he's pretty calm. Uh, he just wants to see everything and everybody. He's alright though. He's cool. Yeah, so today <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys an update on him. I believe the last video I made of him, he was a lot smaller. Uh, like he's probably grown twice the size that he was <clears throat> in the other video. Uh, he's getting pretty large now. So I don't know. Uh, these are really cool, really cool animals. I like to watch them eat. They, uh, <clears throat> once a week we feed them crickets. We got two of these guys. Once a week we feed them crickets. And, uh, daily we feed them mealworms. Uh, the crickets are kind of like a treat, I guess you could say, for them. And it's really cool to watch them eat, watch them hunt them down. <clears throat> when I say hunt them down, they don't really move. They just stare and then, <laughs> and then bite, but... <clears throat> yeah, they're really cool. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Just wanted to hang out for a little while. Talk to you guys. See how everything's going. See how everything's doing. Uh, I don't know uh, where I work at. They put new, uh, new rules in place. Uh, coming up pretty soon. Starting it going into effect pretty soon. Um. Uh, not only do we have to wear um, face masks, the cloth that cover your face, uh, and safety glasses, we're going to have to start wearing a full face shield uh, to try to cut back on the spread. Uh, there's been several outbreaks here. I don't know how much you guys pay attention to the news, but Mississippi is one of the uh, hot spots right now. Uh, I feel that when they shut the country down, uh, I really think they should have done it in sections. And I think that we shut down too soon. I think we should have waited. Um, I technically, I don't think we should have shut down, but that's neither here nor there. I think we should have waited um, until later on to shut down in this state, just because it seems to have um, gotten worse here <clears throat> in the past few weeks or months. Uh, they also told us that the virus wouldn't be able to withstand high temperatures and that was actually a false statement because like I mentioned to you guys we're over 100 degrees pretty regular and uh, it's just getting worse and worse <clears throat> but yeah so uh, where I work uh, I have to wear a paint suit a full body paint suit um, steel toe shoes um a hair net a hat safety glasses a mask gloves rubber gloves and uh now starting uh monday we'll have to wear a full face shield um and i guess it depends on what kind of material the shield is actually made out of if it's made out of shatterproof material then you won't have to wear your safety glasses under it um but the other ones that are just like a piece of laminate paper, uh, you'll have to wear your safety glasses still. And like I've said several times, it's hot. It's really hot here. Uh, so <clears throat> wearing all that extra PPE just adds to the heat. So you're going to sweat. You're going to sweat a lot. Uh, and it's okay. It doesn't bother me really. But I just wanted to ask what precautions do you guys have to take at work uh, or 
if you go to the store as a community, what precautions do you have to take? Um, we have to wear uh, masks in any store. Uh, or they want you to wear a mask in every store that you go into. Um, I believe that they can escort you out if you're not wearing a mask. I don't believe that the police can be involved. Not in this state. Not yet. Uh, not really sure how that goes. Uh, but that's, uh, that's, I've been curious on what other places are having to do. So if you're seeing this, if you're watching this from another state or another section of the country, uh, I live in the southeastern states. So um, if you live in the northeastern section or the northwestern section or the western section, uh, what, what precautions are you guys having to take? I'm just curious. Um, at work, we have... Uh, <clears throat> in the in the offices in the desk areas we have uh, plexiglass uh, dividers between everybody now that go from uh, they're two foot tall and three foot long where they stick out uh, they're two foot tall and they stick out three feet from the wall uh, and that's to divide everybody anywhere somebody's sitting next to you if it wasn't for that you would have to have an empty spot when the next person sit they uh of course they're making us wash our hands in 20 seconds very frequently uh we're sanitizing our hands every time we touch something there's a bottle everywhere you look there's a sanitizer bottle and uh, we're spraying our hands down and sanitizing <clears throat> uh, for breaks when you go to break uh, you're to sanitize your table before you sit down and then when you get up they have a bottle there you spray it and wipe it down with a tissue with it well with a pepper towel um he's trying to crawl up my arm right now it feels funny with the little claws but <clears throat> yeah that's what we're having to do um and then like i said if you go to the store uh, if you go to say walmart or to the mall or something like that you have to wear a mask at all time unless you're eating or drinking uh same with work uh, the only time you can remove your mask is when you're eating or drinking. Um, and that's okay. I mean, I understand. They're just trying to help. Trying to help everybody. I hope that's the goal anyway. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're a state that has uh, one of the smallest populations, I believe, in the country. Right at 3.4 million in the whole state. <clears throat> I know that some areas, uh, like I grew up in Michigan... And I know the Detroit area and the surrounding areas have well over 3 million people in just that one section. Uh, I don't think actually the city of Detroit has that many, but if you include the surrounding areas, it's got well over that. Um, so yeah, our whole state, I think our biggest uh, city is Jackson, our capital city, and I think it's got like 300,000 people. So nothing too big. Um, the closest big city we have is Memphis. And I want to say it's about an hour and a half away. Memphis is a pretty large place, so it's a lot of it's, it's pretty well populated. He's just sitting. I don't know if you guys can see. He's just sitting there. I don't know why he's doing that, but I don't want him to fall. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, that's uh. I'm really starting to get tired of the whole face mask thing. To be honest, um, I mean, I get it. I understand it. I don't agree with it, but I do it because that's what they want us to do. Um, I do have underlying health issues, so if they think it's going to help me, I'm going to do everything I can. So, again, my question, I guess, for today or questions for today is uh, what, what type of uh, precautions are you taking at work? Unless you work from home, you know, then you don't really have to worry about it. Um, but what type of precautions are you taking at work? And um, what kind of precautions are you taking if you go to the store? I'm just curious. Also, I heard a report on the news this morning that said uh, they found their first case of COVID in a dog. They're saying animals can spread it. 
That guy doesn't look like he can spread anything. He barely comes out. The only time he comes out is when it's eating time. But anyhow, let me know if you guys have heard that too. Uh, the animals are spreading it. I'm not sure if they are or not, but that's just what they're saying. So there's that. Um, I guess that's all I got today, guys. It's going to be short to the point. Not really a whole lot going on. Just some new rules to follow and some new guidelines to understand and get to know. And then Ridley. Of course. Uh, he's cool. He's a cool animal. I wish that the camera would focus on his eyes. His eyes are awesome. But anyhow, guys, that's all I got. Let me know um, down in the comments below. Um, comment, share, like, subscribe. Help me grow this channel. I sure would appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.